Assalamu alaikum dear student today lecture I'm going to talk about the kinds of germination and there are two kinds the main kinds of germination that is apogeal germination and hypogeal germination but there is an exceptional case as well that is known as the viviparous germination which is a kind of rare uh, germination right so first of all I'm going to talk about the apogeal germination in which the api means above and geo uh, refers to the word geos that means the earth so here the cotyledon will move above the earth that's why it is known as the apogeal germination let's understand it to the help of the definition in some seeds the hypocotyl grows and elongates and pushes the cotyledons and plumule into the air there are some plants in which the hypocotyl grows all right and then the hypocotyl just push away the cotyledons into the air means the cotyledons is not embedded in the soil and so such condition in which the cotyledon along with the plumule is carried into the air is known as the apogeal germination and uh, here the cotyledons turn green and become as the first foliage leaves right uh, for example the bean seeds have the apogeal germination castor oil plant seeds have this kind of germination sunflower tomato and pumpkin etc let's understand it with the help of the diagram so let's suppose this is a seed and we have sown it in the soil then when it starts germination the hypocotyl will grow and elongate and will push the cotyledons to into the area um, into the air right like this is what this is the cotyledon cotyledon will be pushed towards the air into the air right so uh, in this diagram the cotyledons are shown as green because the cotyledon we have already discussed will turn green and act as the first foliage so this is known as the cotyledon which are actually acting like the first foliage and this is what this is the plumule giving rise to a uh, new shoot uh, or leaves right this is plumule so both the plumule and cotyledons are in the air while the hypocotyl and roots etc are under the soil so this kind of germination is known as the apogeal germination now moving towards the hypogeal germination so hypo refers to the meaning beneath under or below while geos means the earth so in this case the cotyledon will be under the soil uh, let's see what is the definition the apicotyl elongates and pushes the plumule upward into the air while the cotyledons remain in the soil right uh, i have already mentioned that here the cotyledon will be under the soil now see in this diagram this is what this is basically the seed which is sown in the soil when it will start germination it will remain under the soil this layer is known as the soil right so the cotyledon is under soil while its plumule is moving upward plumule is in the air here is what here is the plumule giving rise to new branches which is present in the air while the cotyledon is present under the soil so this kind of germination is known as the hypogeal germination and the example of such kind of germination is a pea plant or pea seed green and maize the third which i have mentioned that is the rare case and uh, also we call it as the abnormal kind of germination is the wavy virus germination why we call it abnormal germination just because uh, it is not a normal kind of germination and it occurs only when plant is in stress condition if there is uh, this plant is under the water stress the draft stress or any other kind of stress then the seeds will start germination that will be known as the wavy virus germination so what is wavy virus germination let's understand Viviparous germination is the process in which the seeds germinate while being attached to the parent plant or a seed that germinates into a seedling before being shed from the parent plant. Here the seed will be still inside the fruit and still attached to the parent plant and it will start the germination just because if it will shed from the fruit or if it will disperse from the fruit then there is less chance for its survival and for its germination. So as I mentioned earlier that it will occur only in the stress condition that's why the seed like to live inside the fruit and inside the parent plant uh, and uh, start the germination so the fruit being unable to bear the weight of growing seedling fall vertically into the mud and get it uh, and it get fixed then uh, what happened uh, uh, when the seed will start its germination and become a seedling uh, then it will be uh, difficult for the fruit to bear its uh, the weight of the new seedling that's why the fruit along with the seedling will fall down on earth and uh, it will start germination for example, uh, viviparous germination mostly occur in mangrove plants. Uh, example is rhizophora, and uh, it also occur in rare cases uh, in tomato and apple. So this was all about today's lecture. Like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.